Hey everyone, thanks for checking out Long Range Tactics. I'm Dave, and in today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing video of the Maven Optics B6 12x50 binoculars. All right, so first I wanna apologize. Uh, this is my recording room, my studio right now, clearly an unfinished basement. Not the best lighting. It, I'm, working with what I have. So I apologize for that in advance. Um, but yeah, today, so this is like, this literally just got left on my porch. Um, I've been waiting for this all day and finally got delivered. Unfortunately, it's dark out, so I can't do any real testing with it, but I wanted to do an unboxing of these, um, these B6 uh, optics by Maven. Um, I admittedly, um, I am, not super experienced with like high-end binoculars. Um, my personal binoculars now before these, um, they are these uh, Vortex Diamondback 10 by 42 binoculars, literally a Cabela's Black Friday special, 100 and I think like 20, 130 bucks when I got them, I don't remember for sure, uh, several years ago. Um, great optics. I mean, for the money, they've served me well. I haven't had any issues with them. I always felt like they've been pretty clear, pretty good glass. Obviously, I'm not a glass expert. So, um, and I've always carried them in this uh, Badlands uh, uh, vinyl pack, the XR, I think is what it is. Um, but, uh, so this is, these these Mavens are kind of my, my first dive into higher end optics. And higher end is, you know, argue arguable depending on who you are what your experience is some people may say this is not high end to me these are high end these are this is the most i've ever spent on binoculars even remotely close i mean these were my binoculars before so i'm excited to try these out and just kind of see what they're like um so anyway i kind of went on a rant there um so first thing uh came with uh soft cloth and a little plastic case cool um sticker cool uh, I'm not really a sticker guy. Some people are. Some people, it's like a golden ticket. Um, so anyway, you notice the packaging for the Maven, uh, Maven binoculars, kind of basic. Um, it's kind of like an egg carton, um, which a lot of people will have issues with because they, they're spending all this money. They want like a really nice packaging. I don't. I don't care. Uh, I'd rather save money on the optic or have that money go into something else rather than a box that's probably going to get put on a shelf or thrown away. So um, I kind of like that, that it's a little more simplistic, um, a little more basic, a little more cost effective. Uh, now let's see if I can get this out of the box. Okay, so you can see, um, hopefully it's a little low, so I'll try to show you guys. So a little flip top. Um, sorry, that's this desk I can't, I can't raise right now. So that's what we got. Um, this little envelope in here. Don't know what this is. Oh, it's uh, it's like the manual, color manual. Very few pages, but it talks about the features of the optic um, and things like that. So cool. I'll have to go over that in a little bit later. Um, so again, we have kind of more cardboard there, um, and then comes in this. Uh, like a really nice soft uh, kind of a, a cinch sack thing. What do they call them? I don't know, but cool. Uh, probably will never use that because I'll probably put them in a vinyl pack like I had before. Um, again, so, you know, like these vortexes came in like a, a semi-rigid binocular case. Cool. I never used it. Waste of money, waste of resources so i kind of like this is more basic because most people spending this money has their favorite bino pack they're going to use so um take this out Ooh, texture is very grippy um one other thing before i get too far into this it also did come with the neck strap um neoprene again probably not going to use that and that's it so put that aside now we got your basic uh uh lens covers here and then Got some objective uh, covers here. Flip down, they can, they're you know kind of wrapped around the, the lens or you can remove them if you so choose. 
which I probably will once I have them in a vinyl pack. Um, if you guys can see this, I really like this design. In case you guys don't notice, uh, my, my watch, my, or my ring has a little bit of orange. I like orange, my, you know, I, I just like it. So this drew to me, not the reason I bought these, but I did like that it had a little bit of orange accents on them by default. Um, anyway, the, the texture here um, is very, it's grippy, but not too grippy. It, it got a nice good purchase. I don't know about if my hands being wet or anything, but it feels good. It's got a grippier texture than these Diamondbacks, which I know is not a good comparison. These are like a thousand dollars MSRP. These are like MSRP, probably like two something, I guess. Um, but uh, looks really good. Nice big, um, nice big uh, focus knob there. Um, very tactile, very, lots of uh, uh, good knurling on there. Very smooth, not not too hard, but not gonna really bump very easily. I can barely touch it. You can hear like the metal tinging, I kinda like that. Um, some people may not. It's about the same as the, the focus knob on the Vortex. Um, so, good eye cups it feels like. So the, uh, the uh, diopter here for your right eye is not locking, it doesn't seem. Again, I'm just unboxing, I haven't looked at the manual. But it's very stiff, I don't really see that being moved very much, if at all, in under normal use. I do kind of wish I had a locking uh, diopter there, but maybe it's not an issue. So I don't have a lot of space behind the camera, um, so we'll see how uh, it, uh, it looks. So right out of the box, I don't even really need to seem to uh, need to adjust my diopter there. Uh, I might need to fine tune it later once I get more distance. There's probably only 10 yards behind the camera, 15 yards maybe. Um, so not very far at all. And uh, so I might need to fine tune it later, but um, so far looking really good. I like it, it seems very clear. Now these are, these are 12s, these are 10s. Um, let's see if I notice a huge difference. Don't notice a huge difference in the magnification, um, which I mean, it's only a two power difference, not really that noticeable, um, which is why I went with the 12s instead of the 10s. I went into a local store and tried 10s and 12s and didn't notice a huge difference, so I went with the 12s. Um, but one thing I am noticing is, I look through the Mavens, I'm not noticing any glare in the lenses, like in the, in the sight picture. But with these vortexes, I'm noticing a very, it's a very noticeable glare, like the lights reflecting, um, which they don't, I mean, these have, the Mavens have a slightly more, the, the, the body around the lens kind of sticks out slightly more, but not a ton. Um, anyway, this is not a comparison video. Um, I just want to do a quick unboxing of the Mavens. That's what comes in the box. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, which I like because I feel and hope that either that saves me a little bit of money um, from buying unnecessary things or um, I hope that money went into the quality of the optic instead. So, um, so far uh, they seem really nice. I'm going to take them out um, tomorrow and uh, give them a good test. I'm going to take them out, some, do some scouting and other things. And then I'll have a review um, of these actual binoculars down the road. I don't know how soon. I want to make sure I get some good use of them first. Um, I don't want to be like, yeah, I looked in my backyard. These are great. Buy them. I don't want to do that. So um, I'm going to try and go out, um, go do some off-roading, give them a try, um, try and take them. Um, hopefully I'm going to be duck hunting in a couple weeks. I'll take them out then um, and see how they hold up. So um, anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out the links down in the description below. Um, we have a Facebook group. We have a website um, where we talk about... Um, different tactics, uh, long range shooting, um, reloading. Um, we're doing some uh, online kind of reloading classes, little seminars, um, fairly basic stuff, um, just for those who are trying to get into reloading um, and, and, and a whole lot of other things. Check the links down in the description below and uh, join the discussion with us. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching guys, take care.